Hey everybody, so I'm going to take you through a nice little PowerPoint presentation this morning, but I want you to know before I do that when I had this idea, I googled it, and it turns out other people have done this already, but this is my take. So this is the political alignment of almost every Spongebob character. All right, so let's get underway with the obvious one. Uh, here we go, Spongebob. Uh, Spongebob is a moderate Democrat. He's kind of like a working class kind of guy. Uh, he was furloughed during the Coast Squid 19 outbreak, and his quote is, I'm ready, I'm ready for Hillary. Okay, Patrick, uh, this was a bit of a tough one, to be honest, but uh, I put undecided mostly about uh, what to have for breakfast. Uh, he's unemployed, but he doesn't know what it is, so he's not enrolled in unemployment pay. Is democracy an instrument? All right, so Squidward. Squidward is fiscally conservative and socially liberal, loves Elizabeth Warren, is a big supporter of the arts. He's not afraid to unionize. He supports stand your ground laws because he wants SpongeBob to stay the fuck off his lawn. Uh, that's about it. Dean Krabs. Uh, as we all know, he's a greedy GOP coin pincher dickhead. Uh, he underpays his employees, he's a boomer, he's aspiring one percenter, supports anything that allows him to keep his money. Alright, next we got Pearl. She's a closet Green Party supporter. She's a mixed race child because she's, um, a whale. Uh, she doesn't realize that poor people exist yet. She's a product of Mr. Krabs' boomer conservatism, but she'll eventually go green. Andy Cheeks. Uh, I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this one, I feel like, but she's a Romney Republican. She's a proud NRA member. Uh, she respects the environment, though, so that's kind of her green side. She supports Ted Cruz. She's on a work visa, so she's unable to vote. All right, so if, if you're not really in agreement with this one, I really don't know what to say to you. Larry the Lobster, he's a libertarian shitbag. He listens to Joe Rogan on the daily. Uh, thinks that Goo Lagoon will regulate itself. God, just look at him. William Fancy Son, look at his eyebrow. He's a Tea Party supporter. He's a 1% of Bikini Bottom, advocates for lower taxes, and he sucks, and his quote is, I suck. All right, Flats. Uh, Flats is a goddamn anarchist. He has no interest in government regulation. He just wants to kick butts, and his quote is, I like to kick butts. Butts. And from that same exact episode, you got Old Man. Uh, so Old Man, he loves the young people. He collects Social Security who would benefit from socialism. So he's kind of a Bernie bro and his quote is, I love the young people. All right, so diving into Plankton over here. He's a libertarian hyper-capitalist. He has no belief in intellectual property because he keeps trying to steal that crab padded formula, you know. Uh, true capitalist, American dream perpetuator, and I went to college! Uh, Karen is a computer. Bubble Bass is a Pete Booty Gig supporter. He's a warmongering capitalist. He's also definitely an incel. He wants gay rights, but only for fish, no crustaceans, nor sponges, and you forgot the pickles. Gary is a communist Nazi bastard. He's a free rider. He eats all SpongeBob's food. He wants to eradicate all sea creatures. He hates freedom. Fuck him, meow. This puff loves. Amy Klobuchar. She loves her so much. She's a school teacher and she advocates for school funding and she's not ready for four more years of Trump fish. Alaskan bullworm. Big, hairy, and pink. And last but not least, my leg guy. My leg guy is a Bernie supporter because he has constant health care needs. Uh, he loves Medicare for all. He likes spreading the wealth and my leg. Thank you so much for listening and watching and I, I hope you learned a little something. I know I did.